As the latest addition to the Master series, Logitech have perfected a fan favourite even further in this form of the MX Keys S, making some much needed improvements while still retaining all the features you've grown to rely on. With more and more Logitech products making the S upgrade, we're here to highlight all the great features this new iteration has to offer. Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Opening up the box, you'll get the usual simple eco packaging, letting you get straight into the product without any fuss. As it's wireless, you get the advantage of having not only a super reliable Bluetooth connection, but also a Logibolt connection too. Instructions for each connection method are mapped out on the inside of the lid with clear visual steps. But as always, I tend to opt for the Logibolt. It comes with the keyboard, it's discreet, and it connects your devices instantly. And better yet, it works with the majority of other Logitech devices too, making connection a quick and painless process. Along with the Logibolt, you also get this USB-C cable measuring about 41 inches, which is just enough for reaching around the back of a desktop PC and charging while in use. Now it's out of the box, we can take a good look at the overall design here. If you're a fan of the previous look of the MX Keys, you'll be happy to discover that there's nothing physically different here. Taking it in hand, I found it surprisingly light and thin, mainly holding its weight in the raised platform in the back. It's pretty easy to pick up and move about thanks to the wireless nature, which is perfect for those who like to fidget and even compact enough for taking on your travels. Seeing as it's a full-size keyboard, it roughly measures about 17 inches across and 5 inches deep. It does take up a bit of room on the desk, but as it's slim and sits quite low, it's pretty inconspicuous. Even though the angle adjustment is fixed, it's still pretty comfortable to type, sitting at a nice middle ground between angled and completely flat for avoiding any wrist strain. I do love the sleek, minimal design choice here, easily adapting to both a professional and home environment. Something Logitech always pride themselves on is their efforts to reduce their impact on the environment, while well, they've taken even more action with the S range, making sure to use more sustainable materials than before, giving you peace of mind when upgrading that you won't get from most other tech brands. It feels incredibly sturdy and well-built, which is reassuring to note knowing it needs to withstand constant use for hours at a time every day in the office. The Master Series has been much loved for a while now, so I understand there's hardly much to change. But that said, there are definitely a few new additions to recent Logitech products that I'd love to have in my old favourites. Naturally, the functions sit along the top, but now we have a few new, highly requested additions. Now I'm pleased to see the dictation and emoji keys up top here have centre stage, as I use these shortcuts quite a lot in my work, and it's honestly great having one less shortcut to memorise. Though they may seem like small wins, the quick access to really useful everyday functions makes a world of difference to my productivity levels. As with all Logitech devices, you'll also find the Easy Switch system in the top left that helps connect and switch between selected devices quickly with just one press of a button, which is useful for those who have multiple Logitech brand devices, then you connect the keys to up to three devices at once, making quick work of knowing which device you're typing on with just a glance. Lastly, let's just point out the helpful multi-Windows Mac key layout here. Now it's a great option for those who have both PC and Mac devices, as it easily adapts to both layouts. As it's rechargeable, there's a single USB-C port in the top right corner along with a handy little switch for turning it on and off when not in use. It's colour-coded green or red for easy visual confirmation, but as it's situated along the back out of sight, there's also an LED on the top that glows green when it's on, as well as red when the battery's low. Now let's get down to the most important part, the keys themselves. Now you still get those unbeatable ultra-fluid shallow keys with these handy little circular indents for a smoother typing experience. Now I do love the soft touch shallow nature of the keys that not only allow typing at speed with little error, it's also practically silent, keeping the noise levels down for maintaining ultimate levels of concentration within the office. To get an idea of what this sounds like, here's a quick sound sample. Now, whether you're working throughout the day or well into the night, the MX Keys S does have a very clear, fully illuminated backlight to improve visibility no matter the conditions. Now, it's not your basic white lighting. Not only is it smart, adapting to different light conditions automatically, it now has customization too, letting you alter it to your personal preference. Of course, you can change the brightness using the function keys in the top left corner and within the app but it's also got an inbuilt sensor that not only turns the lights on and off depending on proximity, it also turns it off automatically in bright light, really helping save battery life by only appearing when you need it. 
A huge improvement for some is now having the ability to choose a specific duration for the backlight within the Logi Options app, giving me the option to keep it on permanently if I need it. Now it's quite bright, appearing clearly when looking down on it, but not so much when looking at it from a low angle. I was even surprised at how bright it appears in daylight too, making clear definitions between those darker keys for a much better visibility overall. So even if you're happy with the keyboard as it is, it's still incredibly helpful to know that you can adapt the keyboard even further to your personal tastes using the Logi Options Plus app. Now it's a completely free app, and even if you're not into creating custom key functions, it's super helpful for monitoring battery life, keeping it updated, and changing certain settings like the backlight brightness and easy switch devices. Of course, I was delighted to see the amount of key functions available to assign, as well as being able to assign hotkeys for launching my most used apps if needed. Though in this new variation, you will find this nice little upgrade in the Smart Actions software. What would you say to having the ability of assigning multiple actions to one key? Well, this keyboard does just that. Yes, it's a small change, but it's actually a massive time saver when it comes to actioning my everyday routine. Now with just one press of a button, I can simultaneously open emails, teams, and even my creative programs as soon as my PC powers up to get right into a productive workflow with no distractions. As a new feature, it takes a little time learning the scope of it, but it's quickly becoming my favorite addition so far, especially considering the endless combinations I can assign to truly streamline both my work and creative process. It's a really simple app, and I love the visual layout with the helpful tips, making customizations a lot less complicated. You'll notice it also has a lot of suggestions within the backlight features for improving battery life. As great as that backlight is, leaving it on constantly does take the battery life from five months to 10 days on a single charge. So it's good to play around with the settings here to get the most out of it. So after using this keyboard for around six hours straight, I can already see the benefits of having an adaptable advanced keyboard. Now it's supposedly more powerful than the previous version, and though I would need to use it over a longer period of time to really make a decent comparison, I do feel there is a difference here, feeling an overall improvement in responsiveness when typing at speed, for example. But if you are a fan of function over style, this typing experience is definitely more on the practical side, feeling smooth and precise compared to the more deliberate clacky feel of a mechanical style keyboard. Though it looks pretty minimalistic, I love how easy it adapts to any environment and use. Now it's pretty light and streamlined for a full size keyboard and it feels incredibly comfortable even after typing on it all day long. The updated features may be subtle, but it's worth the upgrade considering Logitech have added some of their most popular new features. So you still get the keyboard that you love, but now with all the best mod cons Logitech have developed, enveloped into one well-rounded device. So what are your thoughts on the Logitech MX Keys S? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have our hands on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.